Hello everyone. So in this video, I will going to prove the uh, very famous constant e uh, is an irrational number, and this proof is based on the very famous uh, mathematician Fourier. And I will try to break it down into very detailed steps so that uh, I can let more people to reach this proof. So we should have some prerequisites knowledge first. And the first one is the definition of irrational number. And the definition is that a real number that cannot be expressed as a over b, where a and b are integers without common factors. These numbers are irrational numbers. So let's have some examples of some rational numbers first. So there are uh, three kinds of numbers that are rational. The first one is uh, integers. And the second one is the terminating decimal, which is, uh, for example, 2.5. So we can express it at, uh, as a 5 over 2. And then 3.14, which is 314 over 100. And then we can simplify it as one, uh, 137 over 50. And the third one is the recurring decimal, which is like 0 0.33333 to the infinity. And then it can express as 1 over 3. And then for for example, this 0 0.252525, we can also express this as, as the 25 over 99. So below are some of the examples of irrational numbers like root 3, pi, psi, a degree, which is not a special angle, and log, uh, uh, except log 10, log 100. And there are some uh, numbers that are not yet proven to be rational or irrational. Uh, I list out them uh, so that uh, you can have a reference. The second knowledge is factorial. So for any positive integers n, we can define n and exc exclamation mark is the factorial of n, which is n multiplied by n minus 1, n minus 2, and so on until 3 to 1. For example, 5 factorial, we can write it as 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So let's consider the following case. If I write 2 times 1 as 2 factorial, and then I divide 2 factorial on both sides, so the left-hand side will get n factorial, over 2 factorial equals n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times dot 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 until 3. So the right hand side are the product of many integers. So it will be also an integer. So we can see that n factorial over 2 factorial is indeed an integer. So using the same concept, I can write 3 times 2 times 1 as 3 factorial and then divide both sides by 3 factorial. I can get n factorial over 3 factorial is also equal to integer. So I use the same principle. I can apply to more integers on the right hand side until n minus 1. I can consider this bunch of integers can be n minus 1 factorial. So that I can say n factorial over n minus 1 factorial is also equal to an integer. The next knowledge is the sum of infinite geometric series. So for a geometric series, we define a for the first term. r is the common ratio which is the ratio between succeeding terms. For example, I can pick up a and a out, and I divide a out by a, which is the common ratio out. And I can use this formula a over 1 over uh, one minus out to calculate the sum to infinity of this series. For example, like we need to add 4 to 2, to 1, to 1 half, to 1 fourth, to infinity. We know that the first term is 4, which is a, and the common ratio 
we can use any sus uh, successive successive terms like 2 over 4 we can get 1 over 2 so we can use the formula 4 over 1 minus 1 over 2 so make sure that we can we should make sure that the common ratio should lies between negative 1 and 1 so we can calculate the sum to infinity as 8 so the next knowledge is the comparison of fractions so I use some numerical values as an example first we know that one third is less than one half if I multiply both sides by one half then I can get one over two times three which is still less than one over two times two we also know that one fourth is less than one half so if I multiply both sides by 2 times 3 times 4 in the denominator which is also less than 1 over 2 times 2 times 2 so I can use this concept to extend to this fraction 1 over n plus 2 is less than 1 over n plus 1 so I can multiply both sides by 1 over n plus 1 which is less than 1 over n plus 1 times n plus 1 so this is equal to n plus 1 whole square and for the third term okay we multiplied it to the previous fraction so we can get the left hand side the denominator as n plus 1 n, pl n plus 2 and n plus 3 which is less than three terms of n plus 1 so I will add a cube here and the fifth knowledge is the Taylor series of E and we know that the Taylor series of a function which is infinitely differentiable at A is defined by this formula we put A equals 0 and then we can get a simpler uh, series so this series is also known as the Maclaurian series so let's consider the function e to the power of x we know that when we differentiate fx is equal to ex if we differentiate one more time it is still e to the power of x in fact we know that if we differentiate it for infinite time it is still still equal to e to the power of x if we put x to be 0 for each fair uh, for the each um, the value of the derivative they are all equal to 1 so we can write the e to the power of x as 1 plus 1 over 1 factorial x plus 1 over 2 factorial x squared plus 1 over 3 factorial x cubed plus dot 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 and we simply put x equals 1 then we can get e which is uh, to the power of 1 is equal to 1 plus 1 over 1 factorial plus 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial and so on so we will start our proof by contradiction we assume that e is a rational number and it can be expressed as a of b first where a and b are positive integers without any common factors so remember the expression of e as a power series and because b is a positive integer so let's say uh, it is equal to maybe 271 over 100 uh, maybe e can be expressed as this so that b is 100 this case so if we add up the all the fraction from 1 factorial to 2 factorial to 3 factorial we will eventually get 100 factorial somewhere so now we replace e by a over b first 
and then the right hand side I will write 1 plus 1 over 1 factorial plus 1 over 2 factorial so on plus dot 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 plus 1 over b minus 1 factorial plus 1 over b factorial we reach b and then I will go a little bit further plus 1 over uh, b plus 1 factorial okay I add one more term here and then plus dot 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 to infinity so now the trick is we multiply the equation by b factorial on both sides so now I add b factorial multiplied by a over b and then here I write b factorial and then these things will go inside the bracket so how do we simplify okay let's do this one by one for the left hand side what is b factorial over b so we know that b factorial is equal to b times b minus 1 factorial we can release one term one integer out so that the b can be cancelled so the left hand side will be b minus 1 factorial times a so this is obviously an integer because it is a product of many integers so now we try to multiply the b factorial into the bracket so for the first two terms which are one and they are simple it is b factorial plus b factorial plus for the third term is 1 over 2 factorial which is b factorial over 2 factorial plus b factorial over 3 factorial plus dot 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 and so on and so for this term it's okay we just uh, we just add a b factorial on the numerator for each term until the last term plus dot 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 so now let's analyze this expression we know that b factorial they are integers b factorial over 2 factorial we have proof in the previous part so that the pr the um, this part these are all integers because we have proof in our prerequisites knowledge so now what is this guy this is one this is also an integer right so what happened on the last few terms to infinity so we can analyze them now so we can expand the denominator we know that b plus 1 factorial is equal to b plus 1 multiplied by b factorial and then for the next term is b plus 2 times b plus 1 times b factorial so you can see that there are uh, common factors in the numerator and the denominator so the third one is b plus 3 b plus 2 b plus 1 times b factorial plus dot 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 so all the b factorial can be cancelled out so the first is 1 over b plus 1 and the next one is 1 over b plus 2 times b plus 1 and the third one is this guy or b plus 3 b plus 2 and b plus 1 plus dot 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 so what is the special of this guy remember we have proof on the fraction comparison this guy okay I will just copy it 1 over b plus 1 and for the next guy this one it is less than 1 over b plus 1 square and for the third one which is less than b plus 1 cube 
and so on. So we can use this relation. And then we notice that this expression is indeed a geometric series. This guy is the first term A. And the common ratio is 1 over B plus 1 square over 1 over B plus 1. So the both fraction will be cancelled out like this. So it is just left 1 over B plus 1. Because B is a positive integer, so this fraction must lie within negative 1 and 1. So now we can apply the formula for the sum to infinity, which is a over 1 minus the common ratio, which is 1 over b plus 1. And we will try to simplify this term further. So the numerator, I copy it. And then for the denominator, it is b plus 1 minus 1 in the numerator over b plus 1. So this plus 1 minus 1 cancel out, and the fraction uh, is 1 over b after uh, simplifying. So we know that b is a positive integer, so this 1 over b is less than 1. And we know that these fractions, they are all positive fractions, and the sum of them must be greater than 0. So we know that the whole bunch of sum lies between 0 and 1. So I'll copy it here. Dot, dot, dot. Yes. So anything lies between 0 and 1 is not an integer because 0 and 1 are consecutive integer. So now we know that the left hand side is an integer. And then for the right hand side is the sum of integers. plus these guys is not integer. So we have the contradiction and we prove that E is an irrational number. So thank you for your watching this video and I hope that uh, we will see you in the next video. Bye bye.